Hi there! Welcome back to a new video from the series Everything You Always Wanted to Know About Heartbeat But Were Too Afraid to Ask. In this video, we're going to take a look in how to include geo information in the events generated by Heartbeat. So people visualizing uptime data on Kibana can understand where it monitor is coming from. If somehow you've missed the previous videos where I explain what Heartbeat is, how to download, install, and configure it, as well as the other important features discussed so far, please follow the link below in the description to catch up with the conversation. Today, we're going to configure Heartbeat to include geo information into every event generated using processors. Processors provide an easy way to process events at the edge meaning that all the processing occurs before Heartbeat send the event to the configured output. Specifically, we are going to use a processor called Add Observer Metadata. Let's see how to apply this processor to this existing configuration. This file called myconfig.yaml has been used before to probe uptime data from a microservice written in Go that exposes a HTTP endpoint over the port 8080-8080. We're going to change its configuration to include a processor called Add Observer Metadata. To work with processors in Heartbeat, just edit your configuration file and create a session called Processors. This session expects one or multiple processors. But in our case, we're going to define only one, which is the Add Observer Metadata. This processor requires two information. The first one is the information regarding time to line from the cache that we're going to set for five minutes. Also, you have to specify the actual geolocation. The geolocation has to have a name, so I'm going to set this name for Rife Array Data Center 01. And the most important information is the actual location, where you need to specify the latitude and longitude of the actual location. Since I live in APAC, North Carolina, I'm going to provide the latitude and longitude for where I live. Besides the location, you can optionally specify other parameters, such as the name of the continent where this location resides, in this case, North America, the code of the country, and the name of the region. You can also specify the code for the region. And if that makes sense, you can also specify the name of the city. This is all you got to do to configure the processor add observer metadata. So now we're going to save this file and start heartbeat. To start heartbeat, just use the native executable that comes with the distribution and then provide the configuration file using the parameter "-c". In this case, the configuration file will be the file myconfig.yaml. Then you can start Heartbeat. From this point on, Heartbeat will start probing the microservice regarding uptime data. However, every time a new event is being generated, it will apply the processor that we've configured that will enhance and add new information to the generated event. And this event is going to be sent to the configured output, which is Elasticsearch. With the information in Elasticsearch, we can use Kibana to see if the information regarding the geolocation has been added correctly to the event. As you can see here on Kibana, the information being shown regarding the uptime data from the monitor haven't changed much, except for the fact that now we have the location associated to the monitor. 
You can see this information by expanding the line that shows your configured monitor. Just click here on this arrow down. Now, right below the information that says if your configured endpoint is up or down, you can see that there is a location that corresponds to the what we configured in the heartbeat configuration file. You can optionally also click on the name of the monitor to see further details. Now, you can see that the information regarding the location is being shown here on the header and you can associate this criteria of availability to that location. Now that we know that the information regarding the location has been successfully added to the monitor, let's create a dashboard that shows a heat map with this information. To create a dashboard in Kibana, you first need to configure an index pattern. Let's create one now. Go to the menu in Kibana and look for the session that says Management and click on the option Stack Management. In Stack Management, look for the session that says Kibana and then you're going to find the option to configure index patterns. Click on the button Create Index Pattern. In this example, we are going to create an index pattern that matches with the configured indices and alias that contains information from Heartbeat. Just provide the name Heartbeat Dash that will match up with all the existing indices and aliases. After doing this, click on Next Step. Here, you are going to select in the Time View combo box the field at timestamp. Then finally click on the button create index pattern. We now have an index pattern to work with, so we can go to visualize library and create a new dashboard. Go back to the Kibana menu and then under the session analytics, click on the option visualize library. And then we are going to create a visualization by clicking on Create New Visualization. For this example, we are going to create a visualization of type Map. So click on the option Maps. With your map being shown, go ahead and click on the button Add Layer. The layer in case will be a heat map. So from the list being shown, click on the option heat map. The next step is selecting the index pattern that we've configured before. So in the list, just pick heartbeat, which will allow you to configure what field contains the information regarding the geolocation. Kibana will automatically suggest for the field client.geo.location, but we're not going to use this one. Instead, you are going to select the field called observer.geo.location. By the time you select that field, you're going to see that Kibana automatically will update the map and then highlight whatever data has been written into the indices. To confirm this configuration, click on Add Layer. And then you can simply close this configuration of the heat map. As you can see here, the heat map is showing where the monitor is being gathering uptime data from the microservice. If we zoom in, you're going to see that this information is coming from the United States, more specifically from the North Carolina state. And if you zoom in enough, you are going to see that this information is coming from the city that we've configured, which is Apex. 
which is where I currently live.